Okay, in this video, we're going to create the structure for an OER textbook. Uh, we're going to be using a curriculum so that we can um, use the structure of the curriculum to uh, be the same as for our textbook. And we're going to use the Guru platform, which has a set of tools which makes this task surprisingly easy. First of all, make sure you're logged in and then click on My Content. You'll see that in the panel on the left, you have, um, a. in my case, I've got quite a few number of courses running. I'm creating a number of textbooks. Uh, you might have none or just one. But uh, ideally, though, we need to create a course uh, as our main container. So click on the plus button and then it asks for some details. So we're going to call this my OER Maths textbook um, and you will see there that it does request where does this fit into the American Common Core standards now sadly for us international people it doesn't really make a lot of sense we can try a rough approximation um, in this case uh, maths and I can say I'm going to work particularly in pre-calculus but if you're not really sure you do have the option of choosing other. They do force you to make a selection, however, and then you can say for which particular audience this course might be of interest. And then you can say save and view the course. We now need to create the major topics. Um, they call them units in Guru uh, for our textbook. And um, so in my case, then I'm going to start creating um, um, the first one, which I'm going to call uh, number theory. And uh, here you can insert, are there any particular big ideas that you want to cover or some essential questions? And um, where is it going to fit in terms of the grades? Again, I'm going to leave it as other because it doesn't quite my syllabus doesn't quite fit the American core and then we can say thank you very much let's save and view the unit the normal workflow wants you to then create a lesson which goes inside the unit which sits inside the course but in my case it makes more sense if I actually create all of my units first so I'm going to click uh, on the OER Mass textbook to make sure I go back to the um, uh, the front end, and now I'm going to put in my next one, which will be computation, and um, I'm going to uh, save and view, and I'm going to create another one. So now. I can see the the chapters of my OER textbook beginning to take place. So I can do another one. Um, this one I'm going to call consumer arithmetic. And um, you'll see on the right hand side, we're beginning to develop the structure. On the screen at the moment, you can see that, that the, there are three topics or chapters to our OER textbook. Um, now our next task would be to drill down another level. So I'm going to have a look at computation and inside computation it wants to know can I create a lesson please. So in this case I'm going to say yes and I'm just going to call it objective one at this stage. So what is the specific objective? Uh, the, the first specific objective of this particular topic. So we can say save and view the lesson. Um, but at, as I said before, I like the idea of actually laying out the structure first. So I can go back to computation and then create a second one for objective number two. And save. And you'll see on the um, left hand side the structure beginning to form. So now we have a course, we've had our units or chapters 
Uh, and now we've got our lessons, or in, we've been calling them objectives. Within the objective, we now need to put in the container, which will actually hold the resources. In Guru, they call these collections. So click on the Create Collection button. And now it's asking us for um, a title and also what is the learning objective. So I'm just going to call my collection objective one. But now we need to find what is the actual learning objective. If I have a look at the um, curriculum here for computation is the um, first specific objective. So I'm going to take a copy of that and then paste it into the, uh, the learning objective field. Uh, who would like to know about this? Again, my same audience as before. And then I can say, add the content. When we're ready, we want, we're ready to load in the OERs, then this is where we're going to put them in, into this particular collection.